Hi, this is Sarah at the Historical Society again, and I'm standing next to one of our favorite items in the collection, which is a bust of Washington Irving. Now, a long time ago, life masks and death masks were the way that people, you know, were able to maintain an image of an individual once they were gone. Now, a death mask basically is a likeness of a person who has passed on their face after death. It's usually made by making an impression of the face. Um, these masks were made to remember people, uh, maybe a little as a memento or something like that, or sometimes they were used in order to make a portrait. Something like this would have been painted afterwards by using a life or death mask. Now, life masks are a little bit slightly different because they are casts of individuals who are still alive. Um, this living person mask is usually made um, by making a, uh, a wax mask or a plaster mask. Plaster was probably a little bit more popular. Basically what they would do um, is the face and head are oiled and greased up um, and then thin layers of plaster are put on one on top of the other until they get a nice impression. Um, and then they pour a plaster in again to make uh, the image of the person. So what's really interesting about life masks is that some very, very famous people um, in the United States have had life masks made of them. Probably some of the most famous are George Washington, uh, which was done in 1785, and um, Abraham Lincoln is another one. His were done in 1860 and 1865. Um, and they're on display and they're really cool. But um, one of the things that we have uh, here are our photographs and images of our captors of Major Andre. You know, the three guys who captured the spy here in town? Well, they had life masks made of them. Um, and we have lots of images of their life masks, which are kind of cool. They're now uh, uh, made into bronze, uh, basically busts, that are on display in upstate New York at Cooperstown. But here, again, my favorite is our Washington Irving. Now this is actually a bust made from life, um, and this was actually made um, probably about 1836 by Robert Ball Hughes. And there was only a couple of these made that are this size and this shape of, of uh, Washington Irving. What's really cool about it is this is what he actually looked like. Um, you know, life masks really give you the image of the person up close and personal. So as you can imagine, Every day, I find myself staring into the eyes of Mr. Washington Irving that we have here. And yes, I do talk to him sometimes when I'm here alone, but that's another story. So thanks for watching and have a great day.